In this video, we'll look at whether zinc chloride, that's ZnCl2, is ionic or covalent. Zinc chloride is a little bit of a tricky one. So let's first take a look at whether zinc and chlorine are metals and nonmetals. So we look for zinc, that's right here, that is a metal. And then chlorine over here, we have nonmetals. So we have metal and nonmetals. That normally means that this would be an ionic compound. And for many situations, this would be an acceptable answer. We could also look at data on the electronegativity difference between the zinc and the chlorine atoms. So here's a periodic table broken down. It's got the electronegativity differences written up here. When we look at zinc, we have 1.65. That's its electronegativity value. Chlorine over here, we have 3.5. 1, 6. So if we look at the difference between these two numbers, we get 1.51. In general, when we talk about ionic compounds, one of the definitions is the electronegativity difference between the elements is greater than 2. Some textbooks say greater than 1.7. So here we have 1.5. So we're really not an ionic compound, but we're close. So perhaps you could call this weakly ionic. When we look at data from the laboratory, one of the things we'll see is that if we have solid zinc chloride, it melts pretty easily compared to other compounds like sodium chloride. That kind of supports what we're saying here is that it has a much more covalent character to it because it melts quite easily. So ionic compounds, covalent compounds, kind of a continuum between those. And zinc chloride is much more towards the weakly ionic compound.